What's up, Gators? I'm Owen. And I'm Jaden. Welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. Gators, the DECA club is holding a toy drive for Toys for Tots. They will last from now until December 14th. If you have new, unopened toys, then you can donate them at the Culinary Building. For more questions, contact either Jeremy Blythe or William Shelton. The boys' basketball team is hosting a spirit night at Beautiful Grady's today. It will last from 6 to 9 p.m. to raise funds for the 2021 to 2022 season. There will also be a coin drive lasting from the 8th to the 10th. You can donate coins either in select classrooms or at the car loop. Donations will go towards the Metropolitan Ministries Create Foundation. For any questions, contact the number on screen. The Student Council is hosting a holiday food drive. From now until the 17th, you can donate canned goods, boxed goods, and even frozen goods like turkey, ham, or chicken. You can donate your goods at the four blue barrels near Corporal Wynn's office at the front of the school. Now to special guest Alan Ho for a message about electronic waste. E-waste is the fastest growing sector of waste, and perhaps the most dangerous, making up 70% of our total toxic waste. It often contains toxic heavy metals such as mercury and lead, which can leak into our environment. Increasing recycling sounds like an obvious way to handle it, but most e-waste recyclers take the valuable resources and then dump the rest. Only 20% of places responsibly cycle e-waste, and with their help, we are aiming to solve this issue. We'll be holding a week-long e-waste collection drive from December 6th to December 10th. Bring in your old electronics such as phones, laptops, cables, and batteries to support Lando Lakes FBLA. The best items will even earn a free screen protector. Visit us at our table in the comments to donate or even learn more. Thanks, Alan. Now to David with his trauma vlog. Over the weekend, there was an exciting event and Tyler was there to cover it. Let's go see what it was all about. After last year's unfortunate cancellation due to COVID-19, the Gasparilla Concourse de Elegance event was back in a big way this year, taking over the driving range of TPC Tampa Bay and Lutes this past weekend, featuring classic cars of all shapes, sizes, and vintages, including cars that are over 100 years old, cars that have broken land speed records, cars that were true hot rods back in their day, a handful of vintage trucks and SUVs, an entire lineup of foreign cars and luxury cars back in their day. Cars that you probably haven't seen before. And of course, you can't forget about all the vintage motorcycles that were on display. Some of my personal favorites include this beautiful red 1969 Chevy Impala SS. This gorgeous 1971 Corvette. And of course, this beautiful 1968 AMX. I wasn't able to reach out to the man who put this all together, Brando Pistorius. I spoke to him a few months ago about the event, and he said after the success of 2019's and the unfortunate cancellation of 2020, there was a lot of anticipation from both him and the participants for this year's event. The dates and times for next year's event are still not known yet, but you can visit GasparillaConcourse.com for more updates. That's all I got for you today, so back to our anchors. Thanks Tyler. Now let's go back to David for some info on the All-Star game. At O-Line and D-Line, Isaiah Tavo, number 71. At O-Line and D-Line, Xavier Lewis, number 62. At Wide Receiver, Nicholas Kleppel, number 83. At Wide Receiver, Calvin Cockerham, number 14. At Tight End and Wide Receiver, David Alejandro, number 80. At running back, wide receiver, and defensive back, Hunter Sullivan, number 21. Make sure to come out this Friday night to support your senior Gators at the 2021 Pasco County All-Star Game. Interesting, David. Well, that's all for today, Gators.
Tune in Friday for another edition of Swamp Talk.